Hi everyone, this is Jules. I want to share a project that I finished uh, last, actually this past weekend. Um, I had about five, five days, uh, no, about six days, five nights to finish 27 baby shower invitations. Um, I have a friend that I actually watched her grow up. Her name is Misty. Hi Misty and Nick. Um, this is a young lady that I have mentioned, uh, I think once or twice before on a video, um, who had the preemie baby. Um, this is truly a miracle in itself, this whole, pr the whole pregnancy and everything that has happened so far. Uh, Miss Haley was supposed to be born this month and was actually born, I believe it was December. And the reason why she's a miracle baby is because we never thought that Misty would be able to have a baby. And so she's here and congratulations to you, Misty and Nick. Um, these are two of the most sweetest, cutest young couple that I know. And I'm very, very proud of them for everything that they have accomplished for themselves, for their family. I mean, they're so young, they're married, they're hard workers, and they're so super smart. And to now have a baby, I'm just so excited for them. Um, Haley could not have two greater parents, honestly. And I just thank God for that. So you guys have been a blessing to me um, and an inspiration. So I was so happy to be able to make these for you guys. Um, Misty, I did mail these out uh, when I texted you. They were already gone. Um, these I'm going to be taking in uh, to town today and dropping them off at your house so that they can, and some of them to the clinic so that I can get some of them already into the hands of the people that are invited. So um, I want to share with you guys what I did. Now I was gonna be doing. I was gonna make thirty invitations. Um, there was about twenty-five that needed to be done, and I ended up making twenty-seven. And I couldn't go no more. And I still have a couple sitting over here, but I couldn't finish it because I ran out of some stuff. Um, what I did is um, I went to look for Hello Kitty paper, which I couldn't find. Um, Misty wanted something like girly, very girly, uh, pink and and either Hello Kitty or cupcakes, and I couldn't find cupcakes that I liked. I had some cupcake paper that I was going to try and I decided not even to go with it because I just could not see I couldn't see the invitations with those but with Hello Kitty um, I threw in a shabby chic kind of a of a feel to the invitations with laces and pearls and um, flowers and I just love it I love it so much because it's a baby shower um, I decided to go with uh, one of the Martha Stewart uh, punches that is a very cute, petite, floral edge um, punch. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. Now I use this this flower punch that, um, the flowers that it punches out is, it's very tiny and petite flowers. So I thought that it would go, it was nice and soft, so it would go great with this, um, with the envelopes that I wanted to, to create with it. The paper that is on the envelope are from the paper studio um, that I grabbed at Hobby Lobby and they were eight and a half by 11 size um, because I was going to be doing 30 about yeah about 30 of the invitations um, I still had a couple left so that I printed them off I entered all the addresses and names and stuff and I printed it off as if it was going to be printed onto address labels and I actually used um, I think it was um, Lucinda calligraphy font on my computer and use that for the invitation and for um, the address labels and the name labels. So I cut them in strips um, after I printed them all, all off and they were just in square or rectangles. So I used my uh, corner rounder punch and did that on all four sides. So it just has that bubbled look. It's just circular kind of a, um, of a label. And, um, I put some pink bling on the corners here, on the edges, on the sides, and on the side next to the name of the recipient. Um, on Now at Hobby Lobby's when I was looking for paper, I found this really cute um, Hello Kitty fabric, which I love, I love a lot. I did a tutorial, not a tutorial, but I did a video showing the entire process and I'm going to be trying to edit that to get that out to you guys because um, I, I want I do want to share how I make my projects and my techniques and whatever else you know what I use how I do whatever I do and um, it's I like to do that and I know that a lot of I've gotten so many requests I got a lot of personal messages and comments on other videos um, that you guys like me to show what I do and how I do things so I really appreciate that you guys touched me deeply when you tell me that you like my work <laughs> so
So um, it's very special to me to hear from you guys. It really is. If I don't reply back on your comments, it's not that I don't like it or anything. It's just sometimes there's so many or I get so many emails that I can't respond back to everything, everything. But that's why it's called a comment. You know, you leave the comment and I, I reply on questions and things like that. So, but I really appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you. So what I did is I cut out, uh, I have an extra large Sizzix die that is a onesie and it's a complete one piece like this. And so I cut out cardstock, I cut out the fabric, and then I cut out two pieces, one, two, yeah, two pieces of the bottom part. And that is for the background, which is this polka dotted, which is the same that I used for the envelope. And then I cut the vellum out um, for the invitations, and it's just being uh, stuck up here with uh, some, um, what do you call it, little adhesive dots, these little dots here. And... Um, this is not going to bug me too much, really, that that's showing. Um, I don't want to put anything on top of it because I don't want anything to obscure this closing down. It's not going to close all the way closed if there's something like some bling or a little flower or something. So I decided to just leave it as is. Um, I got some ribbon that I, um, I also bought at Hobby Lobby's, and they're actually, it's a white lacy type of a ribbon with um, bubbles or circles all over it. And it's just, it resembles the circles uh, the design on the paper and on this uh, the background here um, and that's why I picked it and because it was white and then I used some of my lace that I have I still have some of this this particular lace on sale it's the floral um, petite edge um, lace it's very small and the flowers actually reminded me of those too so the of the pu the paper punch edger and that's why I use that and this is a very pale pink uh, pearl on a string that I think it was about six or seven yards on this little spool that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I, I found almost everything there. Um, I already had the leaves. I had the, the roses. Um, these are like that stiff ribbon um, that's uh, twisted up into the little roses. And I used um, Cosmos color glimmer mist to uh, give that the pop of color that I think that this needed. Now there's a darker color pink here um, in the little polka dotted um, outfit that Hello Kitty has and the little bow and that's another reason why I went with the polka dotted paper because it went with her outfit on the actual fabric. Um, but this pink here is a little bit darker of course than this base part here so I wanted to kind of match that and it's a little darker still the flower is but it still gives it a pop and um, it pulls this darker pink out too. I have some nestability, uh, a set of nestability dies that's called eyelet circles, and it is this complete piece here, but I just cut the neck out so that it fits on there like a bib. And um, this is felt that I used. I added the lace on the edges of the arms here, just on the front part, and then some of the pearls, the pink pearls on a string uh, to kind of line up with it. And a bling um, right here, like on, on the little belt part, on the waist part. And I grabbed these little snaps. You know, these are the snaps that are really used on the little onesie um, shirts. A lot of you mommies know what I'm talking about. Um, I use these onesies for my kids all the time. And they no normally have three at the bottom. But since this is so tiny, I thought one would be great. And I decided to go with it because I get, think it gave it just a perfect touch as far as it being um, a real onesie. Um, I was going to end up using it like more of a, of an interactive piece where this would be snapped and the recipient of the invitation would have to unsnap it and then open it to read their invitation. But, um, it, to me, it seemed like, um, if it was open and closed so much, it would wear the, the paper out and it would wear out, um, what do you call it? It would wear out the actual invitation. It was the snaps and stuff would come, would, it would make it loose and it would um, tear up the, some of the paper that this part is already on. So I stitched this piece on there, but I didn't stitch this one on. I just glued it down with some glossy accents to hold it tight. And I'm just going to leave it flat like that because I think that that looks perfect because it shows. If it was completely closed, it wouldn't show except for the little bling, and I didn't want just the bling to show. I wanted it to show that it's an actual onesie or, you know, supposed actual onesie. The back side, I carried this lace all the way around the back and I added bling to the edges and I made this really big bow on the back side for, um, for the, the back side to make it look like a belt, um, or just a foo-foo-y kind of a thing. And Hello Kitty is, in a way to me, is cartoony, but I wanted to bring it, bring more of a foo-foo, uh, girl thing to it. So that's why I used 
that fabric and these elements for the invitation. So um, the vellum gives it a nice soft touch as well on the inside. And then, um, of course, the polka dotted part. Um, so that is my invitation. And um, I hope that, Misty, that you like it. I really loved loved making them all. I'm going to seal this one back up. And I'm putting, and actually what I did is I have these uh, crisp, like, paper, packed paper. And some of you guys that have ordered things from me, um, get this my my products come in this um in this packaging so i am actually i'm gonna do it now so i can show you so because um it the uh the postage took two stamps for this because they said it was bulky too bulky that it wouldn't leave flat and it's because of the bow but um these for some reason didn't want to stick down when i wet it so i'm just leaving it closed like that and um, it's going to go into the crispy bag, which I think looks so pretty. And the lady at the post office said that it was going to ship fine, so I shouldn't worry about it. Um, it'll go with all the letters. So I ended up putting them all, every single one, I packaged them up. Sorry, I have to bring it closer to me. I packaged them up in these little bags, and um, it just gives it a nice little, like a gift kind of a look. So, I don't know if it's going to sit in there or not, but, oops, there we go, well, sort of, okay. So, I wanted to just share that with you guys and just um, uh, see what you guys' reaction is. What do you guys think of that? I really liked making it. It's something new for me. I never made invitations before, but I really enjoyed making it. So, Misty, thank you so much, and these are going out again. Um, I'm going to take them out to... Uh, to town for you okay and I hope everything is fine and I hope to see you on the 19th and to finally get to see little Miss Haley and uh, hi Nick <laughs> I love you guys so much and again congratulations to you and thanks for watching you guys Jewel signing out bye